God is not happy with the kingship of Saul and God has already made a setting for a new king but what God has changed is so difficult for us to believe and to understand God says to Samuel I'm not happy with him I have already rejected him and set out with oil for I have provided for myself a king among his sons now see this a type of a past tense for i have provided for myself samuel doesn't know who this king is jesse doesn't know which of his son is being chosen by god and for that matter even the son who is to be anointed as the king doesn't know that he will be king but for god i have provided which means for god it is already complete we spend so much of time in thinking of something maybe samuel and jesse will spend so much of time figuring out who the son is but for god everything is already perfect everything is already complete so samuel visits jesse and jesse looks at the son maybe who is good to be as a king and samuel says to himself surely that this is the one who will be anointed but god speaks and says do not look on his appearance god doesn't see as mortal see doesn't look on the appearance but the lord looks on the heart so this way our feeling lies we tend to see the appearance we tend to see what is possible we tend to see based on our reason but for god it is that heart which matters see what happens next jesse presents each of his sons now this is going to be a very decisive moment there are seven sons which are being presented and if the right one is missed out they can be in trouble because for each one samuel says not this one and not this one and not this one until all the seven sons are presented now see how god makes it possible even in this difficult selection there is confidence in samuel when all the seven sons are presented samuel still asks with jesse are all your sons here because lord has not chosen any of them and then jesse responds there is one youngest who is keeping the sheep and samuel asks that he be brought there and when he arrives the lord says rise up and anoint him for this is the one this must have been really the amazing moment of samuel's life because he relied on god and there was one who was missing jesse did not mention it first and samuel even did not know it and now the plans of god are complete through samuel now david is being anointed by samuel not because he was able and capable he was the youngest maybe he was just little but see what it says he anointed him and the spirit of the lord came mightily upon david from that day forward that's what happens not because he is able and capable but god provides the spirit to take up that position and in our own lives too we are being taken for something else we are being asked to take up another way of life take on something else which is not conducive for us or which we will think it's we are not able for that we are not capable we can present just a crude example it's like you have been asked to get something from the store not because you are thinking to buy it or that you are able to buy and spend that much amount but that has already been bought for you and that's what god does in our lives god asks us to take on something not because it is okay for us it is okay for our reasoning there will be constant buts but how but why but how this is going to be possible and that is what samuel asks if saul comes to know about this saul is going to kill me but god has already finalized god has already made everything happen 
let us be ready to claim to get to take on what god has already made available for us and he will give us his spirit to go through that in our lives